At Northwest Cadence, we develop machine learning solutions to gain fast and actual insights on your data. With SQL Server 2016, deploying these machine learning solutions is easier than ever before. Hi, my name is Ryan. In this simple demo, we write R inside SQL Server stored procedures to illuminate the basics of how to transform your data into predictive insights through a restaurant recommendation engine. If you have any questions while you're watching, please email us at info at nwcadence.com. So let's jump right in. We have a R demo DB where we have a couple tables relating to our restaurant recommendation machine learning solution. And the first table we have is our customer table. Uh, this contains customer IDs, where they're located, are they married, things like that. Then we have restaurant data. Uh, restaurant ID, where the restaurant is, the, do they allow smoking? Just different characteristics about that as well. Then we have our ratings table, which if we open up, we see we have users who have visited specific restaurants and they have given it a rating. Uh, then we simply say, uh, we give it a one if they like the restaurant or a zero if they did not like the restaurant. Uh, and this is what we're gonna try to predict. We're gonna predict, hey, they're gonna like it, so we're gonna recommend this to them. Or we're gonna predict, hey, they did not like it, so we're not gonna recommend it to them. Uh, so that label uh, value is what we are interested in. So in our machine learning solutions, we use stored procedures uh, to do this prediction. And the one we're interested in is restaurant train model. Uh, right off the bat, we write a SQL query to pull in customer information, restaurant information, and rating information of historical data. So we know whether or not these customers like these restaurants so we can figure out characteristics and certain aspects of restaurants that customers like. Uh, then we also calculate the distance between the restaurant and the customer uh, using a function in our SQL server. Uh, this is actually the Haversine formula that allows you to calculate uh, longitude and latitudes to miles. Um, next, we wanna run our external script uh, and we say here, hey, the language we're gonna write in is R. And then this line here says, hey, we're beginning the script now. Um, the first thing we do is we load a Revo scale R library. Uh, this is a Microsoft R library where uh, it has been optimized for machine learning. Next, since our data is really clean and we don't have to do very much manipulation or transformations, uh, we actually only have to turn a couple string variables into categorical variables and our data is ready to go. Next, we actually write our model. Um, using the RevoScale R library, we can call RxLogit, where we want to predict that label column using the customer interest, personality, restaurant price, and the distance the customer is from that restaurant. Uh, and we do so using our input data set from above uh, up here. After we train our model, we put it into a, a variable that is a binary, and then that allows us to store it into a table. Uh, and then down here, we format our output data set so that we can then have a result set that we can insert into a table. Uh, and we do so using the restaurant models stored procedure, which is just SQL to call that train model and insert it into this table. And that table uh, looks like this. So you can see we have the model name, the binary of that model, and the date. So this is actually really nice because you can say on any given day, what was the model we were using to predict. So that's great for auditing. It's great for more analysis on when were we making our best predictions, things like that. A lot of stuff you can do, um, more data, which is uh, nice to have. Uh, so now you have your model. It's sitting in this table and you wanna use it. So you wanna make predictions. There's a couple of different ways you can do predictions here. You can send it a customer and get a list of restaurants back. You can send it to customers and say, what's the optimal restaurant for both these customers? Or 
you are gonna you can do what we do and we send it a list of customers in a list of restaurants and predict if all those customers will like these restaurants or the probability for that um, specifically we sit, grab all the customers and we say what's the probability of each customer liking all the restaurants within 50 miles of that customer uh, and we do so in the restaurant batch predict and again we have an input query here that does the within a 50 mile radius of each customer and we calculate the distance uh, using our function again uh, next we need to find our model that we want to use to predict so we actually select it from that restaurant models table and if you run it you can see we just end up with that one binary of the most recent version next we begin our R script again where we unpack that binary model and so we can use it inside this rx predict command uh, we have a data frame called score ds where we're going to put all of our predictions into it uh, we say hey our input data set is the one from above and we want to call the new column score so we're going to add a column onto our data frame one thing i want to point out uh, that we did not do here is this right model vars uh, it's false, but if it was true, it would keep that input data set exactly how it is, and then just add a column onto it. Here, I didn't do that because I didn't want all the columns from the input, and I could have kept them and just taken the columns away, but instead I decided to uh, just bind columns together and then kind of create a data frame variable off that. One thing to know is when your stored procedure is looking for a result set, like down here, you have to call it output data set. That way it knows, hey, send this data frame to the result set. So now you have this result set and you want to insert it into a table. And so similarly to the model, we use SQL queries to um, insert that prediction into a table. We call it down here and then we insert it right here. Um, notice you can delete stuff from that output table. Since this is a demo, that's what we do. Uh, you can train the model before you even make the prediction. So you're always using an up to second updated model. Uh, again, you can do that weekly, monthly, however often you want. Um, and that output data looks a little bit like this. So we have customer information here. Um, we have restaurant information next. And this is the column that we did our prediction on, our score variable. So you see here we have a 36% chance. And so we said, hey, do not recommend this restaurant. Here we have a 69% chance. So we said, recommend it. Uh, and then we have the date that we ran um, these predictions on. Uh, you actually create this label column in our stored procedure. Um, right here, we create an if else statement saying, if there's a greater than 50% chance, recommend the restaurant. If there's not, do not recommend the restaurant. So now you're thinking, how do I use this data? We made our predictions, what, what do I do next? Well, you can incorporate it into an application or you can use Power BI to visualize it. So here we have top five res restaurant recommendations for each customer. Uh, it's really easy to connect to SQL Server. You say get data, SQL Server, built-in connection, awesome. You can even write custom queries upon your data in Power BI so that you can have even more manipulation and more control of what you're presenting to your users. Um, up here is the top ranked recommendation overall however you slice it and this is dynamic and you see here we have kind of three areas we have the portland area the seattle area and the san francisco area uh, we have a table filled with user information and restaurants that we want to recommend to them uh, and whether or not they visited that restaurants um, here we want to see hey are we recommending high-end restaurants low-end medium uh, and then just kind of a slicers uh, over here where we can look at different uh, people.
uh, let's say we want to look at someone named Jonathan we can search for him there it'll pull up each restaurant that we recommended to him and then it'll filter here and this is the top restaurant for Jonathan here um, and here's a city or we can even back out of this and say okay let's look at Seattle so we zoom in and these are all our Seattle customers uh, these are the ones we're recommending so you see we only are recommending medium and low-end restaurants um, and notice that uh, these are different colored dots so the greens or blues they are on the better end that means we've recommended that a lot of people will like these restaurants and the yellows and reds say these are on the lower end we're not as sure or the, the ratings for those restaurants are not as good as the other ones so that's kind of how you can consume your machine learning solutions at Northwest Cadence we develop these solutions all the time and we'd love to help you if you have any questions please contact us at info at nwcadence.com or client services at nwcadence.com thank you